Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy, in case it is your first time watching me. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be reviewing the Pure Cosmetics by Raw Beauty Christie eyeshadow palette. They did launch two pairs of eyelashes with this eyeshadow palette, but I did not purchase those two eyelashes just because I already have plenty of eyelashes and I just didn't feel like I needed them. And also, I just wanted to get into the website and get out, but that wasn't the case. Like all the time, it's not mine. My mom is trying to, but, you know, you to do, get really um, some beauty makeup and it's not working. <laughs> It took me about 13 hours to get this eyeshadow palette and after 13 hours I'm so happy that I got my hands on it. I did pay for overnight shipping so that's why it arrived pretty fast. I have only seen reviews and tutorials from people that are on the Pure Cosmetics PR list. I'm not on their PR. This is my personal opinion, my review. I want to say that I do love Christy. I think she is such a sweetheart and I think I've mentioned it in several of my videos that she is one of my favorite YouTubers. I don't like cats. Um, I don't like cats but I will watch Christie's videos when she talks about her cats. Like I just really enjoy watching her because she's just so drama free and she's she's just funny. I love her. In this video this will be my honest opinion in regards to this eyeshadow palette. I am not her friend as I think many of the YouTubers I have posted are. So with this palette here, I wanted to be sure that I did a really in-depth review of this palette using both sides of the palette, not just the, the more easier side. Okay, so I'm going to create a look using this side. I'm also going to create another look using this side. And then right now with you guys, I'm going to start off by doing a look with both sides of the palettes combined see what we can do here so if you guys are interested in getting to know a little bit more about this eyeshadow palette then just keep watching no i'd rather be waking up with you set up alone in your room slept with the light on waiting up for you don't i don't wanna be okay so i'm gonna just apply some concealer all over my eyelid i have no idea where my freaking primer is so that's why i'm using concealer and this always always works for me. So I'm just going to begin by blending this out. Christy actually introduced me to this concealer, so I've been loving it. And just like that. I really love how she really put so much thought into her palette. All of these sketches were done by her and they all symbolize something. I'm gonna go ahead and link her video down below for you guys so you guys can watch it and just see how much love she put into this palette, okay? So you open it up and it has a really good size mirror. This is the more everyday type of eyeshadow palette. And then right over here is the colorful palette and it also has a mirror, so it's double mirror. You guys can see how this is. I just love it so much. The first color I'm going to be using is this one here called It Just Does. This is going to be my transition shade and I'm going to be starting off with the lighter color. There's so much traffic outside. I'm filming this during the day. When you guys are watching this, this is this is the makeup of the day. Like I'm posting this today when you're watching this. So I'm just grabbing a fluffy blending brush. This one here is from Wet n Wild. It does not have a number on it. It's like a, a holiday collection. Oh, this is really pretty. Ooh, and it's also really buildable. I like this color. I want to do this look here like a very easy everyday type of look. Well, your everyday might be f different from mine, so um, I'm going to try to go for subtle but not really. I'm trying to build up on this color right in here. And now I'm gonna be taking MI Orange from the colorful side of the palette, and I'm gonna be applying this color right into the crease area. I'm getting quite a bit of kickback inside of the pan. Um, I did experience, well, I'm gonna ruin the rest of my videos, but I did play around with most of these eyeshadows already, and I 
did experience quite a bit of fallout so if you're going to be using this palette i think you should do your eyeshadow first before doing your face makeup because girl it'll get everywhere and i also had it like flying up on my forehead just something to take into consideration not a deal breaker though I don't want to do a cut crease for this look because, again, I want to keep it really easy. But I did spray my brush with some setting spray. And I'm going to go into this color here called Golden Ticket. And I'm just going to be going into the lid area with this color. And kind of creating, I guess, like a cut crease effect. But without the concealer and that super clean line. I finally got the pink off of my eyelid so I did play around with the pink shade and it got like it stained my lids like for sure I really love this color here it's so pretty I have no idea why but I'm being really drawn into using the color flavor town and with this shade I'm gonna be applying it right out here and kind of coming inward into the lid area just like that now to kind of warm things up just a tiny bit we're gonna go into this color here called B and with B I'm gonna apply it just to the outer edge right in here just like that Ooh, that looks really nice okay so I'm really liking that. Now also, another thing that I really wanted to mention, I don't want to share my code with you, okay? Maybe you guys received it as well, but I ordered my palette and since it took me 13 hours to get it, I don't know what, what happened exactly, but it took me 13 hours. So they sent me like a little discount code so that I can use it to get 25% off of my next purchase because they are sorry. <laughs> they are sorry about me waiting 13 hours they also sent me their best-selling eyeliner which i'm going to be using for this look right now so let's see how this works this is the pure on point eyeliner and this is in the color down to earth because i'm so down to earth which i thought was really cool you know because there are a couple products that i actually do want to oh man i thought this was a felt tip this is for the the waterline let's just do that i guess if my eyes look red is because I stayed up till 5 in the morning making this video. And then I'm continuing on with this portion of the video right now, today. So, yeah, my eyes are pretty red right now. I had to wake up. So I went to sleep at 5 and then I woke up like at, um, I think at like 8 o'clock because my kids wanted breakfast. So, it's been hell of a night. I really like the fact that it's like a twist off pencil liner that's cool that, that's why i thought it was like a liquid liner because it's like a twist off I've never seen anything like that that's pretty cool you guys seen how that glided on i really love that so now for the bottom of the eye i'm gonna go ahead and go into copper boxes and i'm gonna be placing this right underneath the eyeliner that we just put on bringing it this way just like that and then i'm gonna go into you're not my real dad which is that dark brown shade right in here and i'm just gonna apply it right out here just to kind of smoke out this outer corner you guys can see right here all, all the fallout i'll show you guys on my makeup wipe so my makeup wipe has a little bit of makeup here um but that's about it let me show you guys I just cleaned that off of my eye right here. Alrighty, so I'm pretty much done with this eye. I just have to apply some mascara, the rest of my face, and some, maybe some false lashes. We'll see. I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Alright, and we're back. This is the completed look. Um, yeah, this is my everyday, casual, everyday type of look. <laughs> that was the goal, but we ended up here, and I, I just really like this look a lot. I think... It's a pretty evening look, I think. I mean, I personally, I would wear this throughout the day. This is my type of style of makeup. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this. I had no issues with all of these shades that I used. I think this came out really, really pretty. And I think it's a very wearable look. For more, like, out there looks, I definitely would be using this here. So, like, for 
makeup events i definitely would like reach for colorful stuff even like around summertime like going out and stuff but we're, we ain't going nowhere we're in quarantine bitch <laughs> i think this side is what most people are gonna reach for but i really like the thought of just like you know including some of these colors with some of these which is what I did here, and I really love the outcome of this look. Let me know what you guys think about it. Now, I want to share with you guys my thoughts in regards to, like, just using this side and just using the... Oh, fuck, I keep scratching the palette. So that's what we're going to get into, and it's going to be a voiceover of each tutorial. And then we're going to come back to me, and we're going to go ahead and talk about what I think about this eyeshadow palette. Is it worth it? I think it's pretty affordable and so I mean it won't break your bank if you just want to try it you know <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into the tutorials I'm going to begin by using the Colourpop pretty fresh concealer I'm applying this all over my lid for my eyeshadow base I actually ordered this concealer because I always see Christy using this concealer and I actually really love it it's very hydrating and not over drying whatsoever so that's why I I'm choosing this to apply my eyeshadows over it so that it has a nice base to stick to. The first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is this one here called You're Not My Real Dad and this is a dark brown shade. I'm going to be using a Sigma E60 large shader brush and applying it onto the crease. The reason I'm starting with the darker shade first is because I really want to intensify the crease area as much as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next shade. We're going to be using this color here called Copper Boxes, and this one is, I, I accidentally used the wrong brush. I went back in with the same exact E60 large shader brush from Sigma, wrong brush to use for this, but I applied this color right on top of the other one just so that I had a nice transition to blend out. I suggest you use a smaller uh, flat packing brush, but um, I made it work. <laughs> And now I'm taking this color right here called Camelot and I'm going to be applying this right on top of the previous Copper Boxes eyeshadow and just making sure everything is well blended into each other because we're just trying to get to know the formula and see if everything blends out well and so far so good. Alrighty, now we're taking the Laura Mercier Purifying McKellar Water and I'm using this to remove the eyeshadow from underneath the crease area so that we have a nice defined cut crease. Well, this is going to be more of a halo eye, but we still need to cut the crease. Like I previously said, I do want a really defined crease area, so I'm going to go back into You're Not My Real Dad and apply it right in there using a Morphe M431 eyeshadow brush. I'm using a Sigma E27 detailed blending brush, and I'm using the color Copper Boxes just to blend out the rest of that crease. Once again, I'm taking my Pretty Fresh concealer and I'm going to be applying it to the center of the eyelid. And now I'm using my favorite little detailed brush for my crease area. This one is always linked in every single video of mine so you guys can check the description down below for what brush this is. And I'm just using this to create a guide to work under. I'm also taking a flat brush just to distribute the concealer throughout my lid space. You want to allow the concealer to kind of semi-dry down a little bit because we are going to be playing with mattes. Uh, there's not a lot of shimmers, so we are going to be playing with this color here called My Whole Heart. We're applying this color to the center right where we applied the concealer. We're going right back into Camelot using a Sigma E54 eyeshadow brush and I'm applying this to the outer edges of that center lid shade. To blend the edges out, I'm taking this color here called B, and we're applying it just to the outer corners of the eye. And now I'm taking this ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner, and this one is in the color Amethyst Hour. I'm applying this to my waterline. Right underneath that eyeliner, we're taking this color here called Moo Point, and we're applying this right underneath the waterline. I think this is the perfect color just to go along with the waterline color. And now I'm taking Told You and I'm using the M431 eyeshadow brush, same brush that I used for the previous shade as well, and we're applying this to the outer corner of the eye. I also wanted to use Golden Ticket, so I'm taking it and applying it to the, what do you call it, um, the water duct? <laughs> 
I'm basically done with this eye look. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my other eye and the rest of my face, but before I do so, I wanted to show you guys the amount of fallout that I did receive with this eyeshadow palette, which I don't find this to be an issue at all. I just wanted to share it with you guys so that you guys don't do your eyeshadow last. I did experience quite a bit of kickback and fallout. But if you do like to do your eyeshadow last, then I suggest that you apply some setting powder underneath your eye area so that you don't experience too much fallout. Drum roll please. Are you guys ready to see the final look? Time to play with some color. I'm going to begin by using this color here called Hurtful on a Sigma E60 large shader brush. I'm going to be applying this into the crease area so that we have a defined crease once again like that previous tutorial. And now using a Sigma E27 brush, I'm taking the color Garden State and I'm applying this right on top of that previous Hurtful shade and we're just going to be blending this out. As I begin to blend Garden State out, you guys can see that the color Hurtful starts to get a bit patchy. Um, so that, that's an issue I definitely had with that color Hurtful. There's no way I was not going to be including a purple shade into this look. I feel like purples are just very difficult to work with. This one here is called Tribute and I'm just going to be applying it to the outer edge and I just want to get an idea of how this blends out. The blues and purples are always kind of patchy with whatever palette I use. Um, some of them are kind of, you can definitely work with them and I'm just trying to see if I'm able to work with these here. Tribute was blending out, but as you guys can see, when I started to try to blend that out, Hurtful again started to get patchy at the outer edge. I'm going to be cutting the crease, so once again, I'm taking the Laura Mercier my Keller, McKiller? I can't say that word. <laughs> I'm taking off the eyeshadow from underneath the crease area, and I'm also going to be using the Pretty Fresh Concealer just to cut the crease. I wanted to incorporate this color here called Side Effect and I'm applying this all over the lid area. I think it's such a vibrant pink and I love the color pink so of course I had to include it in this video. I'm taking the color Tribute once again and I'm kind of blending it into that pink shade making sure everything is well blended into each other. So at the outer edge, I thought Hurtful was going to be the darkest shade of them all. So I wanted to pack it onto the outer corner, but I was already having trouble with this color. And as I started to pack it onto the outer corner, you guys kind of, you guys get the idea. I tried applying Tribute to the outer corner just to see if I can make this look work, but it wasn't working. So I'm just going to clean off the under eye area because I started to experience a lot of fallout because I was trying to build up on the color at the outer edge and it just didn't work. Since everything was looking like a mess, I thought maybe if I incorporate some graphic liner, it'll kind of take away from the focus of the outer corner. So I went in with the NYX liquid liner and this one is in the white shade. Girl, everything was going downhill after this. The the eyeliner that I'm using is actually like drying up, so I had trouble. <laughs> but of course, I tried to make it work. I took another little small brush and just tried to like go over the parts where I messed up. And for this look, I decided to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, and this one is in the color Big Splash on the waterline. I went back in with the color Side Effect on my Morphe M431 brush, applied it right underneath that gel liner. With the same exact brush, I took the color Hurtful and applied it to the outer bottom corner. I really tried my best with this look, but girl, that color Hurtful was giving me a lot of trouble. I'm going to be taking the color Cafe Disco now and I'm applying this to the water duct just to brighten things up. And that basically completes this look. I'm applying some eyelashes, the rest of my face, and here is the look. Let me 
know which look was your favorite. Let me know what your guys' current thoughts are in regards to this palette. Are you going to get it? Because it does restock, I think, on... I don't know what date. It will be restocking on the 18th, so set your alarms. Be there. I mean, if, if you are into this palette. <laughs> My final thoughts in regards to this side of the palette, that blue was definitely a letdown. It just kept looking extremely patchy. I'm going to continue to play around with this eyeshadow palette. Maybe if I start with the lighter shades and then just continue to build up on the colors, maybe it'll blend out better, but um, I didn't have a good experience with this. I really like this color. You guys see me use this one at the crease area right now, and the pink shade is very vibrant. I didn't try to blend it out. I just packed it onto the lid and it looked true to color. It's very beautiful. So again, I'm going to continue to play around with this palette here because I didn't get to get into this color here. So stay tuned for more looks. Follow me on my Instagram where I'm going to be creating more looks for you guys. And all of my social media handles are down below in the description box, by the way. I just really wanted to create a tutorial for you guys and give you guys an idea of how this performs. Not just do like a first impression because I, I usually do first impressions, but this palette has two sides. How was I going to only create one look for you guys, right? That was just my state of mind. That's in this palette, that, that shade name, right? Oh, wait, no, <laughs> it's Garden State. <laughs> Stupida. I also didn't want to go ranting about why I love Christy. You guys should just go check out her video. I'm going to link it down below. And it's just like, you watch her and it, you just fall in love with her. She's an amazing human being. No drama. I love that about her. I inspire to be like that. But, you know, I got a big mouth sometimes. So don't come for me because I'll come for you. <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys here. I've had a hell of a freaking time filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up for all my effort and uh, I hope that you subscribe and I see you in my next video.